If we are seeing the potential collapse of the dollar, Dr. Paul, what replaces it? Well, <clears throat> that's the big question because nobody knows. There's nothing there to replace it right now. If we get into the chaos, which is very possible, that's uh, that's what's going to happen. You have uh, social dis, uh, destruction. You have something like a, uh, if it ever got so bad, it'd be like Venezuela, you know, and something like that. I can't believe that we're that stupid to go to go that far. But uh, no, they need monetary reform, even if they don't go in the direction I want, they, they're going to have to do something. But they would have to, politically, it's not likely because politically, uh, economically, it involves living within our means a little bit, you know, cutting back a little bit of spending. But nobody really is serious, maybe three or four people. Nobody thinks they're going to cut anything. There's no way that they're going to cut it and improve things in that manner. So they have to start thinking. And I worry about the uh, the, the economic chaos, but also the social chaos that's going on. Uh, you know, I never, you know, I live in Texas and I keep thinking Texas has avoided some of the really dumb stuff in New York City and Chicago and Detroit. But even Austin has street people now with tents out there and we're a wealthy state and still doing pretty well. But no, it, this is a consequence of bankruptcy and they're fidgeting and they're picking out victims and they're scurrying around and uh, but everybody gets a bailout because uh, they don't have anything else they can do. And that's why you can depend on the destruction of the currency in hopes that they'll wake up and, and do something. But there aren't very many examples that right in the middle of a chaos like this, they say, oh, let's do common sense. Let's have this vote to cut the budget by 3%. You know, that, that'd be a, There'd be a civil war. They're going to wait for the civil war that's going to come when you when you uh, don't cut anything and your purchasing power goes down 10 percent. Then then there'll be real chaos. So, so, Dr. Paul, how does one protect oneself against this looming chaos? What is the best way to protect one's personal finances? What is the strategy that that you would advocate? Well, there, there's a couple of things. I'm not a I'm not a the financial advisor, and but I am one that thinks about survival and, and investments. But no, I think people should be looking at investments that endure in conditions like that, and that is investing in the you know the precious metals, having land, learning how to take care of oneself, and and you know being prepared. But that's being threatened all the time. You know that uh, even defending yourself now. I, I talked to somebody the other day about this subject. He says. I have a gun. He says, but I can't even buy, I can't even buy ammunition anymore. So uh, they're going to be determined. They, uh, they, and that is why the threat really now is they'll do what they have to do. They'll take the guns if they need to, but what, what else are they going to do when, when it comes to uh, uh, taking care of the, the people? They're going to right. confiscate, they'll, they'll confiscate the gold. You know, they did it in the 30s. They'll do it again. Well, I don't really believe they're ready to do that. But they, that's a threat always that they'll confiscate uh, the gold. But yeah. uh, that, that the government is the threat. And that is why if you really care about this subject, you have to participate in the preservation of liberty. That's why I like to talk uh, to people at Kitco. Well, uh, Dr. Paul, let's focus on this threat of potential gold confiscation or one form or other of government intervention, because that concern is rising. We have investment greats like Ray Dalio, Michael Burry, saying that safe haven assets are not necessarily going to be so safe from government intervention. They're saying expect possible tax changes or regulation that will prevent a flight of capital to these assets that could be viewed as an alternative to the dollar, like gold, like Bitcoin. Could they be at risk of a government crackdown? Oh, absolutely. And that's what's not believable. You know, when when countries go through, uh, you, you know, these uh, periods of euphoria where bubbles are, uh, are blown up, uh, a lot of times uh, people will be taken in and uh, but eventually uh, everybody becomes gullible and they have to try to protect themselves. So this these types of euphorias usually end. But that's the reason why, yes, yeah, some are going to make it. Some will have their private airplanes. Some will get out of here and some will survive. At the minute, not right now, uh, they're benefiting from the bailouts. Nobody, the, the, the wealthy didn't get poorer in this last bailout. So it's it's always uh, it's always a threat. But the government is is the threat. 
because they will crack down because they uh, they have the ability to do it. And uh, that's why I'm so so positive that we need more people saying, yes, what is this free society you talk about? Well, we had a taste of it. Our Constitution, if you don't know where to start or understand it, just start with the Constitution. You know, that might give you an idea of what a free society is all about. And I say, ah, you know, most people well, want to say that's old fashioned, that, that we can't do. Nobody cares about that. So, but Dr. Paul, what form of a crackdown do you think that this could take when we talk about assets like gold and even Bitcoin potentially being at risk of government intervention at the higher taxes, at regulation. What do you think could happen to those all assets? Of, I, think, I think all of that can happen. I, the, the tax system will be used, but uh, just printing money as a tax. I say all you have to do is spend money and run up the debt. That is a tax because if people won't loan you the money, which they won't, uh, then they have to print the money and the devaluation of the currency uh, becomes a tax. So the tax is going up, but they will do it for pu public relations reason. They will have to show that they're uh, putting a heavy tax on the very wealthy uh, because of the civil uh, strife that's going on. So that, that, that will happen. Before we continue, help us by smashing that YouTube like button and subscribe now to this channel. This shows the algorithm that you value the information, and it helps us spread this message. Sharing is caring. Please like and subscribe now. Thank you. And now, let's continue. But it's, it's, uh, it, it's something that, that uh, you know, should be preventable. It's really hard to take care of once it breaks out. And that's why people are really so scared. But I think there are two parts of it. One is we have the financial bankruptcy. Most people understand it. Too much debt, printing money, borrowing, this sort of thing. But the other is the moral bankruptcy. If you look at it and what's going on in this country uh, with this uh, attack on freedom of speech and attack on the values of our Western civilization, Boy, that is that is a big deal, and that is that represents a bankruptcy, a moral bankruptcy, and that is what probably will become more important than just have dealing with the financial bankruptcy. But I think they're both, and we have a financial bankruptcy and a moral bankruptcy, right. and we've never had to go through this quite like this before. So, how do you fight against that, Dr. Paul? How do you fight against the moral bankruptcy? combined with a potential financial bankruptcy. You say to champion liberty, that's certainly what you're doing, but what does that mean in effective terms? Well, I, I do it by what I'm doing uh, and have done all my life. People say, did you go into politics? I know I never was in politics, never involved, didn't want to be in politics. All I wanted to do was speak out. And that began in the 1970s with actually literally the day after uh, the, break, uh, the uh, breakdown of the Bretton Woods. And that was August 15th of 1971. That was an impressive moment for me because this is introducing an age of, you know, really bad stuff for us in the world. And of course, gold back then uh, had had been 20, went up to 35 and at $35 an ounce and look at where it's been. Yeah, today it's down and that tomorrow it might be down. But the, the, the ultimate protection against it so far through 5,000 years of history has always been the, the precious metal. And I think uh, they, they manipulate that price. They try to penalize people who know that and want it. So they manipulate prices of gold and silver. At the, uh, at the same time, they will confiscate it if they have to. I don't think they're on the verge of doing that. Uh, but I think that uh, I'm in the education business is what I'm really in, involved right. in, you know, homeschooling and trying to get people to understand Austrian free market economics. Because if they don't understand that, uh, nothing, nothing can come up because I think all the bad stuff is a result of bad ideas. Uh, you know, uh, we haven't had Austrian economics taught in our schools for the past 50 years. We've been having Keynesian socialist economics that deficits don't matter and no no respect for the constitution. And this, this makes a big difference. And they, they think that they can just do this materialistically. Well, right. if I print more money and pass it out, everybody's gonna be okay, but it's not going to work. What to do in such a situation? Inform yourself and keep your financial education strong. We from the Compact Group offer our loyal subscribers a free educational portal with first-hand monetary, financial, and economic knowledge. Enter our invite-only Insider Club by clicking the link below. You will get access to first-class information far earlier than the rest. 
we have prepared a special deal for all our members where you can access a giant pool of Robert Kiyosaki's financial wisdom for just one dollar. To find out more, simply click the link below and join our Insider Club absolutely free. But there is more you can and should do. Build up several streams of income. More and more people realize that they have to take their future in their own hands, but they don't know how and where to start. We from Compact offer our Insider Club members unique opportunities. Strengthen your financial muscle and get the edge. Click the link below. Become part of our free insider club. No financial obligations. But there's one important thing you have to know. You have to become active. So do it now. Become active and see you on the other side.